Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors at Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company, get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me again today. And this story is about the funeral of Black the Ripper. The UK music artist and activist died in Montserrat back in April. We covered the breaking news of this story. And for a while now, everyone's been left with a lot of questions. How did Black the Ripper pass away? What was going on? And why is it taking so long? The reason as to why is because of coronavirus lockdown. In Montserrat, as well as every other country in the world, pretty much, was in lockdown during the time of his death. And this made it virtually impossible to transport his body and definitely to do an autopsy. Enemy Music Magazine reported back in July that his cause of death has been confirmed by his family. The North London artist whose real name was Dean West died at the age of 32 in April this year. In a statement posted on his social medias, they said, Our beloved son Dean died from a sudden heart attack. The family thanked the fans for the patience and appreciate the support and hopefully they can find some closure in this time. And of course, it was devastating news to everybody in the industry, friends, family and everyone but today they have all come together to finally be able to pay their respects to black the ripper in a very moving and amazing send-off where footage that i've received from his best friend screech this shows his funeral procession through the streets of edmonton with people gathering to pay the respects and to see him for the last time his coffin was dank of England and there was a Dogang floral tribute as well. A moving send-off for the legendary artist. Dean West had changed his name to Samson and he was better known as Black the Ripper. He did a lot for grime, which some people don't remember due to how long his career was. And Dank of England was originally a record label that was formerly known as Black Magic Entertainment. He expanded that into a clothing line, a marijuana accessory company. He was known for viral stunts of smoking cannabis in public places. And there was a lot of videos that went viral with him doing exactly that. He gained recognition in one of his earlier albums, Afro Samurai, in 2006, followed up by Summer Madness and Hala Black in 2007. He was one of the earliest artists featured on the British urban music channel, SBTV. Now fuck you, tell a girl straight up I don't love you You man get whipped to let them cuff you Now that's something that I can't do If she's pretty I'll pass you Might as well get heads while I light in hell They say I'm living in sin but what do you expect We live life in hell Samson released multiple mixtapes during his career Most notably Outlaw and Black is Beautiful He gained mainstream attention Whilst campaigning for the legality of cannabis in the United Kingdom In 2015 With the launch of his debut EP Excuse me while I kiss the sky. He went on to release two more EPs in Dank We Trust and Do or Die before the release of his debut studio album Money Grows on Trees which was released in 2018 via his independent label Dank of England. One of Sampson's parents comes from Montserrat, but he was raised in the London suburb of Edmonton. He was a loyal supporter of Arsenal Football Club and his music career began as early as 2003 at the age of 15. He was participating in grime battles at pirate radio stations, including Axe FM. He had clashes with various competitors. Black featured regularly on the station with grime collectives Rowdy Squad and also X Camp. Yeah, that's poor try again. Guns and knives, you rely on them. What happens if you're not tooled on a find you? And what happens if your boys ain't behind you? Then you're fucked. There's better MCs in the game, never mind you. I don't know who you want to bring hype to, I say it right now. I don't like you. Bullets will burn through your clothes like hot rocks. I know what's real and what's not. In an interview with MTV, he stated that Tupac, Biggie Smalls, Mob Deep, Buster Rhymes, Nas and Bob Marley inspired him to make music. When asked about his passion for making music, West declared that he had a love for it. His first notable single during this time was Death Is Promised, released in 2005. He also stated inspiration from political figures like Malcolm X and Martin Luther King Jr. Don't tell your business to people There's too many bad mind youths that think evil Guys need to eat tonight so they move illegal Now I know why money's the route to evil He released his debut mixtape 
Motivation Music Volume 1 on New Year's Day 2007. His sophomore mixtape Motivation Music Volume 2 in March 2007. And the third mixtape Summer Madness on the 7th of February 2007. His fourth mixtape Holla Black followed on the 7th of March 2007 and is now considered a classic album of that genre, as referred to in many music articles. In 2015, they launched the company Dank of England. The launch was very successful, and alongside co-founder and partner Screech Tree, the pair made pop-up shops on a seasonal basis since 2017. Black gained national recognition for viral stunts on social media platforms such as Troll Station, where he did a music video on the London Eye started literally yeah just one t-shirt design we was bagging up in his mum's kitchen we would have like 40 t-shirt orders and then the next day like i don't know 15 and we were just like knocking them out in the thing he had collaborated the likes of chip loki and gets as well as novelist skepta crept lethal bizzle michael dapper younger nadia rose aj tracy and also ambush his very close friend chip also released a tribute to him as well on the 20th of April 2020 because he died on 420 and since all of this happened as well I've been closely in contact with his best friend as well Screech Tree and thank you to Dank of England for sending me the merchandise that I regularly wear as well always shouting out his name and this is what I think is very important and in relation to the future of Dank of England I can tell you there's a lot of projects in the pipeline international and here in the UK future projects so I'd really appreciate it if you go and follow Dank of England online and help to keep his, his memory alive. Go and see all the people that are buying Black the Ripper memorabilia all over the world and wearing his name and t-shirt and saying his name every day and playing his music. This is definitely not the last you will hear about Black the Ripper and there's definitely more to be said about his death as well. So I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Please don't forget to follow us online at Scar City Studios and my condolences to his family and his friends as well at this difficult time. Long live Black the Ripper. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.